problem 3-58. Uh, we're given these three figures and we want to try finding figure 0 and figure 4, drawing them on this graph paper. And then we want to describe what figure 100 would look like because it'd probably be a little bit too big to draw. So before trying to draw either of those figures, let's have a look and see what connections we can find between these figures here. So figure one, we have this, it looks like a little square here, two tiles by two tiles square, and then two tiles sticking out. In figure two, uh, we kind of have a similar shape, but, we have, but this time it's three tiles by three tiles and four tiles sticking out the side. And then figure three, we have an even bigger square. This time it is four tiles by four tiles square. And then off to the right, we have, it looks like six tiles. So we have two by two, three by three, four by four. So it seems like this little square of tiles here is increasing by one. It looks like this starts at two, then it goes to three, then four. Um, but this little tail up the side starts at two, then four, then six. So it looks like this tail increases at two tiles each time, right? while these only increase by one each time. So figure zero, let's uh, write this down. This is problem three, dash 58 so we're to draw figure 0 um, we would imagine that this square here would shrink by one so it just become a one by one tile and then this ta tail would shrink by two so it would disappear so it would look like these two tiles would go away and then this 2 by 2 square would just go down to a single tile. So I think figure 0 might find it looks a little bit like this. Just a single little tile like that. So it doesn't, it doesn't actually look like these other shapes because it's so small. So it might be a little harder to figure out. Um, figure 4 on the other hand shouldn't be too bad. It looks like we just need to increase the square by 1. And increase its tail by two. So if this is a four by four square, figure three, so let's give ourselves some space. Oh, sorry, figure four. We already have figure three. Figure four is probably going to be five tiles by five tiles. So let's draw it maybe down here. So I'm just going to draw the big 5x5 five five tile chunk here. Like that. So then you could also draw the individual lines here if you wanted to split it up into the all the different tiles. So that's this big square chunk. It's going to be 5x5. Five but now we're going to have to draw the tail. So this one is six tiles, and it's going to grow by two. So it's going to be eight tiles long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's how I would draw figure four. This part is growing by one, and the tail is growing by two. So, figure 100 then, um, and you're going to write this down, I'm just going to um, say it, because I don't want to write it on the graph paper, but you might want to grab just a piece of white paper to write um, the last part of this down on. Um, if this is increasing by 1 each time, and this is increasing by 2, we would expect that to stay true when we get to 100, so this is a 2 by 2 for figure 1. 3x3 three three for figure 2 and a 4x4 four four for figure 3. So for figure 100, this square here would probably be 101 tiles by 101 tiles. 
so a pretty big square. This tail though, it goes 2, then 4, then 6, for figure 1, 2, and 3. So figure 1 is twice as many tiles. Figure 2, 2 times 2 is 4 tiles. And for figure 3, 2 times 3 is 6 tiles. So for figure 100, you'd expect 200 tail tiles coming off as a little tail. So again, that's going to be way too big to draw. But you could describe it as a square of 101 by 101 tiles with 200 tiles coming off as a little tail.